Hi everybody, welcome back to the latest edition of the Fargo Force Show. Our guest this week is second year force forward Zach Yan from Roseau, Minnesota. Zach, thanks for being here today. Thanks for having me. Tell me a little bit about how different it is, just how much of a better feel it is this year than last year, being that you have that year of experience in your belt. Um, just kind of coming here your second year, it's kind of nice just to have that comfort, uh, just kind of that comfort right. of uh, just kind of knowing what to expect and stuff like that, so it's good. But it's different in the fact that you guys got a new coach this year. Kerry Eads taking over for John Marks, um, as we talked with uh, Coach Eads last week on the Fargo Force show. Um, how different of a feel is it with a new head coach? I mean, is it keeping everybody on their toes, Zach? Give me a, give me a player's perspective on uh, a new coach coming in for your second year now. Um, you know, it, it's different, you know, like just kind of trying to feel out what, uh, what he expects mm -hmm. from each guy. But, um, uh, you know, I think things are going good so far. Everyone uh, really likes him and uh, things are going good. How excited were you guys to have a coach of, of his uh, makeup? I mean, knowing what he did with Sioux Falls, when he took over there, they were at the last bottom of the league. In three years, they're the, they're the champs. They're a huge turnaround. I mean, is that, does that get you guys a little extra fired up, knowing that, uh, you know, what you have in him? Oh, for sure. There's, uh, there's no doubt he's done some pretty amazing things wherever he's been. It kind of seems that uh, wherever he's went, he's won, uh, he's won something big. Mm -hmm. So uh, we we're definitely very excited to, and fortunate to have him. What's the biggest difference that you have seen between Coach Marks and Coach E? Is there one or two things maybe that stand out that you've noticed uh, thus far? Uh, not much. You know, um, you know, he's a very, uh, very intense guy, um, you know, but, uh, but I think they're both uh, great to play for. All right, well, in this season's first two weeks, the Force have played three games so far, so let's take a look a little bit of how they've fared so far. We'll begin with the home and the season opener, Friday, September 25th, versus Sioux City. First goal of the season went to our guest today, Captain Zach Yon. Watch his great move, a great deke move there, and wires in the wrister for a 1-0 Force lead season off to a good start. Same period, though, Sioux City's Brian Regali answers with an unassisted goal, crashing into Robbie Bedou, and it was reviewed, but the goal was confirmed, so we're tied at one after one. Second period was crazy. Four goals in all. Fargo's Ian Scheid blasts one in on the power play. Nice job by Brody Stevens of getting out of the way right there. Two all at that point. Same period now, 3-2 Sioux City. Force again on the power play. Scheid fires on the net. It's deflected by Stevens, then put in by Riley Tufty. We go to the third, then overtime tied at three. And in overtime, Sioux City's Connor Valisano gets out ahead. Fargo's Nolan Schaefer is called for tripping, resulting in a penalty shot. And Valisano, with the game in his hands, skates in, and he's going to beat Robbie Bedou and stick side with a nice little move right here. 4-3, Sioux City in overtime. They would wrap this one up. Uh, Force lose the first one in overtime. Still get a point, though. Goals by our guests, Zach Yan, Scheid, and Tufty. And the Force outshot Sioux City in this game, 28-24. to The next weekend, two games, Friday, October 2nd, and Saturday, October 3rd. Fargo was at Cedar Rapids and at Waterloo. They drop one at Cedar Rapids, 6-1, to and then drop one at Waterloo, 5-1. to uh, these games were remarkably similar. If we take a look at them, you guys both fell behind Zach in the game uh, right away. Both of them 3-1 against Cedar Rapids. You were down three nothing in Waterloo. And the other eerie similarity here is that the Force were 0 of 7 on the power play in the first game and 0 of 4 on the power play in the second game. Is that just uh, what? What do you think about those? I mean, those are kind of some crazy numbers. You're not going to go 0 for 0 for on the power play much this year, I wouldn't think. No, no, uh, I don't think so. Uh, you know, it's still early in the season. I, uh, there's obviously some things we need to work on, uh, but um, I think we'll get better. Uh, you know, uh, we're just kind of coming together as a team. We kind of got off to a slow start both games, but. Uh, you know, that's something that uh, that shouldn't happen, and I don't think it will happen. Is that just from, you know, maybe not knowing the guys, guys not being comfortable or, or familiar with each other yet, knowing that, you know, the, the power play maybe struggle a little bit? Is that just a comfort level thing? Uh, I think that might be a bit of it, you know, just kind of getting used to how everyone plays. Mm -hmm. um, you know, everyone uh, just kind of get that chemistry built. But, um, you know, like I said, yeah, it's, uh, it's early in the season, and I think uh, we'll figure it out very soon. Now, some positives from those games, though. You guys, uh, the shots and goal were even in the first game, 26 all, and then you guys outshot, just like you did in the first game of the season, you guys outshot the opponent, uh, Waterloo, on that night, 28-24. So the shots are fairly low. You're keeping the opponent low in shots, and you guys are out shooting the opponent. So that's something to kind of feel good about early in the season as well. Right, yeah. Um, you know, was once in a while, bounces don't go our way. So, uh, you know, that kind of... Um, <clears throat> that might be an effect of that, but um, 
uh, I think I think things will go a lot better now. I think we we'll, should start to get some bounces our way, and uh, hopefully we'll get a few more goals too. I know Coach talked about after the after the games, like the effort or whatever. Just you just didn't get on the get on the scoreboard. Maybe some little things you guys got to kind of clean up. What was his general message to you guys after those two road losses? Um, just kind of coming out more uh, focused. Mm -hmm. I think we kind of got some sluggish starts. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they kind of um, they kind of jumped on us a bit early on both games. So um, I think if we come out and play like we did in the last uh, couple periods of each game, I think we'll be all right. All right. Well, let's take a look at the standings now. Two weeks into the season in the USHL Western Conference, Tri City leading things with a three and zero record. Waterloo right there at two and zero as well. The Force zero two and one after that overtime loss with one point, and Des Moines bringing up the rear as well. Zach, let's get back to you a little bit. The um, we said you're from Rosa at the start of the show, so one of the guys is maybe a, a closer than most uh, from home. How special is it for you to be able to play uh, in a place that you know you maybe have uh, an ability to have your family here and, and see maybe more of the games? Is that kind of a special thing, being from Roseau? Yeah, definitely. It's uh, really nice just kind of having, uh, knowing that you have family and friends close by. You know, once in a while they come down to games, so it's, uh, it's really nice to see them. Did you always, I mean, is, is you've committed to UND for hockey. Has, has college hockey and even uh, you know going on beyond, has that always kind of been your thing? I mean, from Rozo, I probably know the answer to this one, but has that kind of always been your thing growing up, or did you have other sports as well? No, it's uh, mainly been hockey, and Rozo's kind of a hockey town, mm -hmm. so um, yeah, it's pretty much been a dream of mine just to keep playing hockey. Now, have you given Coach a hard time? Because he won, uh, Rozo's uh, big rival is from War is Warroad, and Coach uh, won a championship and spent a lot of years in Warroad. Has Have you guys kind of gone back and forth, uh, tease each other a little bit? Uh, there's been a couple of comments dish back and forth, but uh, not, not a ton, I guess. Um, what what do you like to do away from the ice? When, not that you have much free time during the season, but what do you like to do away from the ice when, uh, when you're not there? Um, you know, coming from Roseau, we have Lake of the Woods mm -hmm. about a half hour away, do a ton of fishing, uh, do a little bit of hunting too. That's, those are the main things, I guess. Hanging Dur out with guys. Nice. Um, what do you expect from yourself this year? As we mentioned, second year back with the force. Do you, or, you know, uh, if I uh, think it was 16, yeah, 16 goals, 10 assists last year for you. I mean, do you, are you looking at a big improvement from yourself? Is that one of the things that you expect from yourself this year is a big improvement or do you not focus on numbers so much? Uh, well, yeah, I do expect to uh, make a bigger, a big jump from my first to second year, but uh, I think the main thing is just uh, for the guys to make playoffs mm -hmm. this year. Uh, I think uh, I think that's a big, uh, important thing that we are trying to focus on this season. What's going to be the difference? I mean, what looking back at last year and now coming into this year, having been through it, what's going to be the difference that 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 is going to bring you guys to that those playoffs this year? Maybe that wasn't quite there last year. Do you think? Um, I don't know. I, I think. Um, I think you just got to stay focused throughout the season. It's a long season, 60 games. Um, you know, so it's, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. Mm -hmm. So just kind of focus on taking a game at a time and uh, pulling out as many wins as we can. How nice is it to have some of those experienced guys that know a little bit about what you went through last year and some skilled guys as well. When you talk about Austin Pulley, Dennis Smirnoff, and some of those guys, you got a goldie back, Rob be doing as well. How nice is it that you can blend some of those experienced guys with a bunch of new guys that Coach Eads brought in as well? Oh, it's nice. It's uh, good to have some familiar faces mm -hmm. back from last year, obviously. But, um, you know, even the new guys, they have a lot of uh, junior experience, which mm -hmm. is uh, something Eads kind of wanted, I think, uh, which is good. Um, so um, <clears throat> I think uh, that should be uh, good for the team. All right, just having all that experience. Let's take a look at the, the upcoming games for the Force in the next two weeks. Here we'll we we'll start in the. This is a little different week, is that the games are not Friday, Saturday. In fact, they're Thursday, Friday for the uh, for the at Shields Arena for the home crowd. Thursday, October eighth, uh, the Force hosts Cedar Rapids at seven o five, and then Friday, October 9th, they host. Coach Ede's former team, who we won a championship with just last year, the Sioux Falls Stampede, that on uh, October 9th. Then the next weekend, you guys go to Bloomington, uh, October 16th and 17th at 7 o'clock. Once again, tickets always at 364-3672 uh, or FargoForce.com. A little bit about those, Zach. Cedar Rapids and Sioux Falls is going to be a little extra special in the game against Sioux Falls, knowing that it's Coach Ede's uh, former team, and you probably want to uh, get one over on those guys? I think so, yeah. We had a lot of battles with them uh, last year, so it should be pretty fun to play them. And knowing that you just lost to Cedar Rapids uh, right. last weekend as well, a little extra motivation for you guys there, too. Yes, definitely. Uh, we'll definitely give them a better game than uh, this past weekend. So, All right, thanks for joining us today. Good job. Thank you. All right, that'll do it for this edition of the Fargo Force Show. Thank to Zach Yon for joining us. We'll be back uh, next time.